The sign on the door downstairs says, welcome home, and it's, it, that's exactly what it feels like. We know that we're close to the hospital. We stay here. It's brand new. It's amazing. It absolutely lets you concentrate on nothing but getting your child well and keeping yourself sane. At Royal McDonald House, we keep families together in their time of need. His second day born, he had uh, his first MRI, um, followed by a week of other scans. He was diagnosed at eight days old with a very, very rare form of cancer called infantile fibrosarcoma. And he started chemo within about a week or two. He is responding to the chemo and he's just waiting for surgery. We came to Arnold McDonald House on July 17th and it's absolutely ideal to be here. We flew here uh, for 23 days. During those three days, she gave birth early to our other son, Tristan. It's been uh, close to two months we are here. We're completely alone. To know that the Ronald McDonald House was so close to the hospital, was willing to let us stay here, it was like really, really a, a, a good thing for us. We're so happy. This house is 74,000 square feet and it serves 73 families at a time and likely that will serve about 2,500 families every year. We have a big living room with a slide that comes in and some other features that the families have actually asked us to put into the house. I like a lot to play in the playroom. The communal areas are really nice. Um, there's gardens everywhere. Beautiful kitchen with everything we need. Fireplace and TV and computers. It's fun here. I like the magic room and I like the arts and crafts room. One of the great features of Royal McDonald House, British Columbia, is the magic room. Children can go in and engage in a unique environment that for the time they're in there, they really do forget that they're sick. This is the fifth largest Royal McDonald House in the world and uh, the most unique Royal McDonald House in a number of ways. It is what we wanted it to be and the families are reinforcing that and that just gives me such a sense of pride. The family room at the Surrey Memorial Hospital is, is just a fantastic uh, house within the hospital. It has four individual sleep rooms so that uh, families uh, can stay overnight, but it also has common space that uh, has a kitchen and a play area for children, a small lounge, a little office space. It's a respite from the hospital environment so that they can actually get into a home-like environment and have that peaceful time. Whether the families are staying at the family room at the Surrey Memorial or here at the main house, uh, what they take away, I think, is a sense of uh, caring and support uh, that keeps their family together at their time of need. I think that the Ronald McDonald House has been imperative, and I, I say that with all sincerity, imperative in Emily's recovery. We had to stay in a, in a hotel for a couple months before here, so we came here and it was just like a whole new world opened up for us. We owe a lot at the Ronald McDonald House for, for the two months that we've been here. It's, it's really nice. It really makes you feel appreciated for what you're going through. The donated funds that we need so critically go to serve all the families that stay at Ronald McDonald House. I think you should donate because you never know when you're going to need a place like that. Families are away from their home six months, nine months, sometimes up to two years. All those funds go to serve the families. Please donate to Ronald McDonald House BC today. I really hope that you help families like ours. If um, you donate money, the kids will get to come and stay.